Hello YouTube fans, this is Emily here, and I just watched the Elimination Chamber, and honestly, it was total bullshit. I mean, it had some good highlights, like the Women's Elimination Chamber match, and Nia vs. Asuka, but the rest of it was total bullshit. Um, so, I'm not gonna talk about that, the only one thing I am gonna talk about is that nobody wants to fucking see Braun... Ugh, I keep saying fucking Braun. Why am I keep saying fucking Braun? I mean fucking Brock. Same. F oh my fucking arm. That's how frustrated. This is how frustrated I am. Um, nobody wants to fucking see Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns at WrestleMania again. Okay, nobody wants to see that again, especially for the title. Nobody wants to see that again. I wanted to see Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar. I mean, that's a dream match. Like, what? Especially for the Universal title. Braun really deserves it. And Brock Lesnar should really take a break from the company. But, um, no. Because, you know, WWE doesn't listen to fans. They're too busy sucking Roman Reigns' dick all the time that they think he deserves everything. Like, right? Like, what? Like, can't believe it. Like... So I'm off that topic. So let's talk about the women's el first ever elimination chamber. Um, Alexa Bliss really didn't deserve it. I'm really mean that. But who also like the most? Okay. Um, to me, I feel like literally all those girls in there deserved it. Besides, Absolution, whatever the fucking name is. I don't really care. I don't like Monday Night Raw like that. I only watch it because of Shasha and Alexa and Braun and literally the only people I like. Um, only reason why I watch it. Um, but everybody, like Mickey, Sasha, Bailey, Alexa, really deserved that title, the woman's title. But the other two, Mandy Rose and Sonya, whatever the fuck that bitch's name is, didn't deserve it. Doesn't deserve. Didn't deserve to be in that match in the fucking first place. If you wanted a good ass match, I get you wanted an Oscar and Nia Jax match, but that could have been a different match of something, of another woman's match. It could have been another woman's match. And have Nia and Oscar in the first ever women's elimination chamber match. Like, there's even old um women wrestlers who you can bring back to be in there. Nikki Bella. She don't seem to be doing anything right now. Bring back Nikki Bella. Or um, I don't know, Bree. They're both working out. They're both keeping up their house. I've been keeping updated with them. And I get Bree's doing that total mommy thing and everything. But Nikki Nikki's not doing anything. From what I've seen, she's not doing anything. She's just chilling in the pool, wherever she at, and drinking wine. Like, I wish I was living that life, but... She could have been in the first ever Elimination Chamber match, and I wouldn't mind, because she deserves the woman title. She even posted on Instagram that she wished she was there, and I feel like WWE doesn't think of it. Like, really? You guys gotta think of other people who are not on, who are not on the main roster now, but, and there's also many people in NXT who they could have picked. I don't like, I feel like Mandy Rose and whatever the other bitch's name is pointless in WWE. I mean, Sonya, yeah, she's okay. She's better than Mandy Rose. Um, so she's decent. I mean, she could stay. She could do whatever she wants. But Mandy Rose, honey, leave. You're just another Eva Marie. To me, she's just another Eva Marie. If you like her, that's on you. That's your opinion. If y'all gonna take crap on me, take crap somewhere else, because I don't fucking hear it. Um, but, yeah, to me, Mandy Rose should go on somewhere else with her life. She, to me, does not fit in the business, but I do admit that that move she did pull today, um, I think it was on Shasha Banks was good. She got that. I admit it. She got that. But, just plain old simple, she, she, she sucks. She's just another Eva Marie. But who can kind of wrestle? She can kind of wrestle. So, yeah. I feel like she... And plus, she hasn't worked that much. From what I've seen, I really have seen her work from NXT or anything. But to me, she really didn't earn it. I feel like she wasn't on the main roster longer, longer enough to be in it. And I get Alicia Fox is injured and everything. But if she wasn't... 
she would have been. She probably would have been one of the members in an Elimination Chamber match. And I feel like Alicia Fox deserves the woman's title as well. Because she's one of the people who deserve it. Um, that's my opinion. If you guys don't think she deserves it, um, I want to know why. Because to me, she... I feel like, for, to me, WWE... What, I don't even know. What to me now, since she's injured and she's out, I feel like WWE's just going to release her. Since they, I feel like they don't know what to do with her. Or they did just wasting her time. If that was to ever happen to me, when I'm in that business, or whenever I do get to that business... And they're, like, just putting me at pointless matches and not or not even placing me somewhere. I'm going to be like, what the fuck? I came here to make a name for myself. I came here to show people what I can bring to the table. And if you guys are not giving me the opportunity to show that, I don't want to be here. So, I, if I was her, I would have been asked for my contract. Like, I would have been asked for my release a long time ago. But, no, she didn't. She still wants to stay. I did not accept that. Um, but me, I'm just not. A backup person. I'm just not a background person. I deserve to be front and center. If I was, if, I mean, Alexa Bliss is front and center. Charlotte's front and center. Becky Lynch is front and center. Natalia's front and center. Like I would love to be big stars like that one day. And then that call me selfish and all that, but what? I really do. But that's all I gotta say. Cause I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. Bye.